day and age, it's pretty astonishing to find that there are still places around the world that are exclusive to men. Sure, maybe thousands of years ago when certain temples were being created, it's not out of pocket to think you'll hear stories of a time when women were banned, but in 2022? You just don't see it coming. And if you don't believe me, just you wait, cause today I've got the top 10 mysterious locations only men are allowed to visit. Starting us off at number 10, Mount Athos. Way up in the mountains of Greece lies a small orthodox monk community where women have been banned for as long as anyone can remember. As the legend goes, the Virgin Mary was sailing nearby with John the Evangelist, but their ship was blown off course and they anchored at the port near the peninsula. The Virgin Mary walked ashore and was taken aback by the gorgeous mountainscape and asked Jesus if it could be her garden. Now blessed, the mountain became known as the Garden of the Mother of God and was out of bounds to all other women forever. Today, men can submit their passports to the bureau and each day 100 Orthodox and 10 non-Orthodox pilgrims are admitted for a three night stay in one of the monasteries scattered across the peninsula. To this day, women are still not permitted within 500 meters of the coastline so as not to distract the monks from their vow of celibacy and to make matters even crazier, they don't even allow female animals. I kid you not. Next up at number 9, Mlimaji Beach. If you are looking for your next girls trip, you can take this place off your list. Situated on the island of Grand Comore on the eastern coast of Africa, this beach, while beautiful, is only open to men. Interestingly, this change is pretty new, having only been made official in 2012. Before, it was open to all, but 10 years ago, it seems there was a change of heart, and due to religious reasons, they decided to prohibit women from setting foot. It's difficult to find too much detail on exactly why this was changed, but it's assumed that because it is a very conservative religion that is practiced here, it's likely viewed as inappropriate for women to see shirtless men or be seen not covered in public. Public. It came with a lot of controversy at the time, but it seems the religious community won over authorities and it has remained this way ever since. Next up at number 8, the Sabarimala Temple. Located in the southwestern state of Kerala, India, this temple isn't out of bounds to all women, just those 10 to 50. Specifically, they do not want any women who are considered to be of menstruating age so as to respect the celibate nature of the deity. Because if a 12 year old were to enter, apparently she would cause men to tempt their celibacy. Very healthy. Now, the whole ban thing does get a little complicated because legally speaking, the Supreme Court of India did actually overturn in 2018 that women should be allowed to enter. But despite the government's involvement in this issue, women are still very much unwanted and they make that very clear. Protests of the Supreme Court's decision sent an uproar across Kerala and all that attempted to enter were met with intense violence. So like, yes, you can go, but there is a strong chance you will leave very injured and traumatized, so most steer clear. Next up at number 7, the Bohemian Grove. It started out in 1872 as a kind of retreat for writers and poets, men seeking a bohemian lifestyle. But now it has morphed into an ultra elite men's only club for not only artists and musicians, but also politicians, government officials, media executives, or just people with lots of money and power. I suppose they dropped the whole bohemian lifestyle journey a few decades back. But one thing that has remained the same since it started, women are not able to join. Over the years, the club has been charged with gender-based discrimination as it refused to hire female employees. But it turns out the judge was involved with the club somehow and ruled in their favor, stating the men urinate in the open and that the presence of females would alter the club members' behavior, which apparently would have been very bad. This one has an interesting twist though, as after many years of losing the fight to try and get into the club, female elites created their own female only club called the Belizean Club in 1999 as a means to balance the scale. Coming in at number 6, Mount Omin. This sacred mountain in Japan is the holy site of Shugendo, a Japanese sect of Buddhism, and it continues its 1300 year legacy as a male only place of worship. And it's not some unwritten rule either. They 
literally have a sign clearly stating no women allowed as you walk up the trail. On the mountain, men face a series of physical challenges, mostly rock climbing in nature, that they believe to be a test for their faith to strengthen their spiritual power. Despite many protests challenging the ban on women, Omin remains exclusively available to men and they are not looking to change that anytime soon. Coming in at number 5, The Burning Tree Golf Club. Founded in 1922, this golf club has upheld one strict rule since it began. No women allowed. Supposedly in 1922, a group of four men founded the club after being stuck behind a slow playing group of female golfers at the Chevy Chase Club, and the rest is history. There are no women's locker rooms, no women's bathrooms, and they make it very clear from the get go that women are not welcome. And if that didn't make it exclusive enough, it's also an extremely expensive membership. It'll cost you about $75,000 to enlist with a $500 a month membership fee from there on out. Oh, and it's by invitation only. But don't worry ladies, they do actually have one exception for when women may enter. In December, the pro shop will allow women to shop by appointment only during restricted hours on Saturdays so that they can purchase holiday gifts for their husbands. Now doesn't that make you feel better? Next up at number 4. Okinoshima, an island off the coast of Munakata, Japan. This entire island is considered to be a sacred shrine and is treated as such. There are about two dozen people that rotate in protecting the shrine, but only one will stay on the island at a time. As the entire island is considered to be sacred, no women are permitted to step foot, and the only men permitted are priests, researchers, or sometimes the military. From what I can tell, the biggest reason women seem to be banned is because Shinto, the religion practiced by the island, views blood as impure, and therefore it's believed menstruation would desecrate the island. On top of all of that, the select few who are permitted entry may not take anything from the island, not even a blade of grass, and are forbidden to speak on what they saw or heard on their visit. It would appear that whatever happens in Okinoshima stays in Okinoshima. Next up at number 3, a German water slide. On a slightly sillier note, there is now a water slide in Germany that no longer permits women to ride. The Extreme Phaser is a 219 foot water slide that can reach speeds of up to 72 kilometers an hour. But after six women complained of injuries to their intimate areas, the operators decided it would be off limits to women until they could find a solution. They promised that the ban has to do with women's safety and that it is not meant as a gender based discrimination, but some still feel they aren't telling the whole truth as gynecologists have chimed in stating they can't imagine how anything could have been damaged. Allegedly the resort is working on developing a bodysuit women can wear to prevent further mishaps, allowing them to lift the ban, but so far no such bodysuit has been created. Coming in at number 2, the Kartikeya Temple. Located in northern India, this temple has strictly forbidden women from entering at any age, at any time. The temple worships the Brahmakari, which means to stay in conduct with oneself, generally referring to a life of abstinence. Once again, it would appear that if women are allowed in the building, men simply could not control themselves from their own vows. A legend of the ban dates back to when Lord Kartikeya was meditating, and Lord Indra, jealous that he might get more powerful than himself, tried to distract Kartikeya by sending over a beautiful woman. When the woman arrives, Kartikeya gets angry and curses that any woman who dared to distract him from his meditations would be turned to stone forever. To this day, some still believe any woman that enters will be cursed by the Lord, and the myth has been used as a means to justify the ban. And last up in our number one spot, gyms. I won't lie to you, this one is depressing. As of November 2022, women in Afghanistan are no longer permitted entrance into gyms. Women were outraged by the new law and when news broke, they wanted to protest, but those that attempted were arrested and have not been seen since. The authorities say that it's because previous parameters put in place like gender-based segregation and mandatory hijabs were not being observed. But but many women have come forward saying that this is an outright lie. Along with gyms, women have also recently been banned from parks, meaning effectively that most children can't go either, as their mothers and sisters can no longer take them. It's 
Really hard to wrap my mind around the fact that this is a newly passed law, not just some outdated tradition. And I think that's what makes it all the more horrifying and anger inducing. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm Kennedy. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.